Today I'm gonna be combining four random Squishmallows, but this time in real life. You may have seen my popular series I have on shorts on YouTube that is me combining random Squishmallows on my iPad in Procreate. But this time I thought why not take it out of the digital world and put it in the physical because I want one of my little creations in real life holding it in my hand. So this week we are creating a Franken Squishmallow based on four random Squishmallows that I've already previously done for a YouTube short. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a new mashup for this one or one of my old ones, but there is just one that I love the most. It's like a little purple boba cow. And then when I went back and looked, that's actually the one that you guys also seem to like the most. It has the most views, the most comments. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that one right now for you. Whatever these land on, I'm gonna mash all of them together on the iPad. Ooh, we've got boba, let's go. Okay, we have some really good color combos. I'm thinking I'm gonna do the coloring of the cow plus the ears, the obviously legs of the octopus, add in some boba for our little boba guy and a strawberry helmet. All right, let's do it. First, I'm just gonna add in the colorings. I'm gonna add on all of the little legs. Okay, I've got all those done. Now I'm gonna add in a bunch of little boba at the bottom. Okay, he's looking really cute. Now I'm gonna add on the top of the strawberry. Last but not least, I have to add on the horns and the ears. And here is the final result. Now, in order to create this, I've decided to actually buy all four of the Squishmallows that randomly appeared in that video. So let's go on Amazon and see if I can find all of these. Ooh, okay, it turns out this pink and purple cow is actually very rare and only available on resale for some pretty high prices. But I did find this purple and black cow on Amazon that I think will probably have a similar outcome to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that one. And then luckily it looks like all these other ones are available on Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase them all and then we'll wait for them to come in. All right, it's been about a week. I did end up like two of the ones that I saw that were on Amazon actually were not gonna be available to send to me for like two. Okay, hello. Hello. <laughs> for like two or three weeks. So I did end up finding a couple on eBay that were actually cheaper and got to me faster. So let's go ahead and open them. I guess I'll do the Amazon ones first. Oh, okay, I did end up getting these like sewing tools that I'm hoping will help me take them apart a little easier. This one is the little strawberry, very cute. So from the original video, the only thing I really take from this is this top part. So I will probably try to cut around that very perfectly and then re-sew it back onto the cow. Speaking of, I think this one should be the cow. It is, so there is our little cow. I think the purple and black one is gonna be just as cute. Okay, let's do this cute little bag here. This one's from eBay, so I believe it is used, but maybe not, we'll see. Okay, our little octopus. So from this one, I'm mostly taking the feet. I'm kind of wondering if this is like a fake one because the little logo is a little bit different, but that's okay. All I really need are the little feet anyway. So that means this one should be the boba. And if you remember, actually my first ever Squishmallow I got was at VidCon a couple years ago, and it was out of a little Squishmallow claw machine. And the first one I ever got was this boba, but it's just like a little mini form. There it is, Poplina. This one also has a different little logo on this. So from this one, the only thing I'm really taking are all the little dots, which if I had like an embroidery machine or something, I could do that on my own, but I don't. So I think we're gonna have to be very careful and get all of these dots off of here and then place them onto the other one. Okay, here are all the ones that we are working with. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just start tearing these guys apart. So a reminder, here is what we're working with. So I think what we're gonna do is mainly use this guy as a base. But I do think what I'm gonna go ahead and start doing is taking off the feet, the boba, and the strawberry top. 
All right, so what I'm running into is that the stitching is literally so small, I can't even like find it. I was hoping to use these little tools I got to snip each of the like little threads. It's really just about finding that initial thread. And then you can kind of like grab all the other ones you pull out as you go. Okay, one foot off. All right, let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, it goes all the way around. I kind of just thought they were on the front. All righty. I'll tell you, this hurts your hands, gosh. Okay, we are only halfway done. It has been nine minutes. All right, we officially have a legless octopus and now eight octopus legs. Now, unfortunately, it is time to perform surgery on this guy. So I'm gonna take my sharp scissors here and we're just gonna cut out this little belly here. I guess this is for anybody who's wanted to know what the inside of a squishmallow looks like. You are about to find out. There it is. And now I'm just gonna work on cutting out each of these little circles. If I should leave a little purple ring around it and then sew that part onto this. Okay, yeah, so something like that. I feel like instead of boba, this is gonna look like chicken pox or something like, it's gonna look like a diseased cow. Mad cow disease, if you will. Okay, even though that I sped that up for you guys, it took about 11 <laughs> minutes of cutting these tiny little circles out. So as an idea, here is what it's gonna look like once I sew them on. Now for our final surgery. This one is gonna maybe be the saddest of all. We need to cut open the top and cut the green part off. So I'm gonna take my really sharp scissors again and I'm just gonna dig in there. Okay. Whoa, talk about an explosion. Oh my gosh, okay. This one is stuffed really full. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is like cut perfectly around this. This is also like way more structured than I thought it would be. It's super, it's almost like hard. Let's cut really close to the embroidery because I'm trying not to see much of that red, if any. Okay, so here is the gist of our little Franken cow. Um, so now I guess we're gonna start sewing. Okay, after watching a lot of tutorials, I actually think I'm going to attempt to hand sew all of it. So I have my purple thread here and a needle. Wow, I got it on the first go. Okay, so it's threaded. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke it in through here. I'm gonna try to stay like as close to this ring as possible and then poke it back up, pull it taut. And then I just need to repeat that. And that is on. Okay, I mean, it is gonna be, it's definitely gonna be a little hodgepodge that I wanted it to be. I really wanted this to be professional looking. Um, but I do think like once I get them all on, I can go around and clean up some of these like rougher edges, but that is what we're working with. So I guess now I just have to repeat that step Oh my gosh, 12 times, <laughs> 12 more times. I don't know, it doesn't look like, it's not as good as I want it to be. I just think it would look better without this like thing around the edge. I might cut all of this and restart. Rip it all out, just like we did on the octopus legs. There it is. Okay, so I think off camera, I'm just gonna cut really close to some of these. Okay, doesn't that just look so much better? So I think I am gonna just use like hot glue to glue these down. But first we do need to sew on these legs because I don't wanna be like handling all this while trying to hand sew it. So basically what I'm gonna do is line the little feet up like right there. And then I'm gonna hand stitch through the bottom. So then my hope is it kind of flops down over top and you won't see any of the stitching. I'm going through one side and back up the other, and it's kind of hard to like get it super close to the previous stitch, if that makes sense. I'm sure if anyone on here is a professional hand sewer, you guys are gonna think that I am 
probably really bad at this and you were definitely right but i'm interested to see how it looks on the other side so i'm gonna snip that off it's pretty much i mean it's on there are you kidding me okay that is really good i'm actually really proud of that all right let me do the other ones let's hope we can get something of equal value as that one. <laughs> I also think I'm just gonna do these four because you don't really see the back. Okay, this is looking so good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other two off camera because it's way easier if I have it closer to my own face, um, but I'll be right back to show you. Okay, are you kidding me? That looks so good. I cannot believe I just sewed this. <laughs> okay, next is gonna be to sew this on, which luckily I have pretty much the exact same thread, but um, we're gonna need to make some holes to pull those little horns through. Okay, that worked perfectly. Look at that. Okay, so starting from over here, I'm basically gonna put my needle in and I found what works the best is if you kind of get the needle all the way in and out. So if I keep backtracking on myself each time, then eventually I will get the entirety of this covered. Okay, I actually can't get over how adorable this is looking. So last step is I'm gonna place all of my little boba pieces on here and glue all of these down. Wow. You like it? Yeah. Why yeah. did you get so good at stitching? I don't know, I just did it by hand. Oh, I just did. Here is the aftermath of all the dead squishies that it took, but here is the final Franken Squishmallow. Just a reminder, here is what my initial drawing looks like. Here it is next to it. I wish it was the little pink and purple, but honestly, this one turned out so cute. I love the different shades of purple. I am just so honestly proud of myself for all the stitching down here. I'm really glad I did end up going with the glue for the little dots because they do look much better placed like this. The little top here that is all sewn down. And I don't know, I'm just so happy with how it turned out. The general consensus with the one on the original YouTube video was that we should name it Mo Cowberry. But <laughs> let me know if you guys have any ideas for this one and what you think we should name it in the comments. And also let me know what you think about this series. Should I do more? Should we make some from a new filter instead of doing one of my old videos? Or is there one of my old ones that you wanna see me try to make? Let me know all that in the comments and I guess I will see you guys in the next one.